So today on the Dodge Garage Download, we're actually taking you out to Las Vegas, Nevada, and behind the scenes of a photo shoot that's going on. Now, we have an extremely enthusiastic owner that's joining us. His name is Rich Avalos, and uh, he's got uh, a phenomenal Dodge Charger scat pack. But he's got more than that for us. He has two Dodge Charger scat packs for us. He's got his plus a bonus car. Rich, I'm super stoked to have you on the show today, man. I, you know, normally <laughs> folks don't get up this early in the morning, uh, and I know as folks are watching this, it could be any time of the day, but uh, for us to put this together, you're in Las Vegas. We've got a three-hour time difference, and it's just after 6 a.m. there, and it's because you guys are doing a photo shoot. This is so cool, man. I mean, I, I know how those videographer, photographer guys get, man, when the sunshine gets just right, you know, they get all excited for it. And that's exactly what he uh, was concerned about. He's like, you need to have uh, get your butt out here early enough so we can get that light shining on there. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we even get started talking about the car, tell us a little bit about you. Uh, how did how did you become a, a a car guy? You know, I grew up in a a, a city called La Puente, California. Uh, my grandfather was an auto body repairman, and I pretty much grew up around cars my my entire life. And uh, I used to see him build them and. You turn around and sell them and uh, build another one and turn around and sell it, you know, and I just always had a passion for cars. You know, I'm a guy, of course, every guy does, I would think, you know, so um, that's kind of how I started my whole thing on enjoying cars and the, the passion for them. Uh, not only the muscle part of it, but just even classics, you know, I mean, uh, my family grew up with the uh, 39 Fleetwoods that they would drive to school and 64 Impalas and just all kinds of crazy old, old cars. and uh, like I said, I used to be a kid, and I'd sit in the in the seat and act like I was driving, you know, and uh, boom, boom, you know, acting. So it was it was just always something I loved. I mean, uh, I grew up with it, and uh, it's kind of where we're at today, you know. So the thing's got a ton of mods on it. That's great. But do you remember back when it was, you know, still stocked? Do you remember those those first couple of things that you did to it? Yeah, it's uh, uh, 2018. I had bought it in November, and um, – you know, I didn't know which direction I was going to go with the thing. You know, I pretty much uh, was just I had just gotten out of a, a, a regular Dodge Charger 5.7 Hemi and uh, wanted to upgrade a little bit. And that was more of my price range at the time. Um, so I, I was able to get the motor with, you know, the fraction of the cost, you know, so to say. Um, but it's a it's an 18 scat pack. It has a, a four piston uh, brakes, uh, the regular stock 392 engine inside there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it was pretty much bone stock when I bought a yellow, yellow jacket, as a matter of fact, is the oh, actual cool. color of it. Yeah. Yeah. Some folks are actually going to get ticked off at you for doing this to a yellow jacket. Cause it's a, you know, relatively, uh, relatively rare car, relatively rare color. Uh, okay. So now we're here. Can you show us around the car? We want to see this thing. Um, so I don't know if you're able to see. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So we, uh, put an aftermarket hood on there. Uh, we put a demon hood uh, I had got from a G spot motor works. Um, this is a Shurikai kit that literally came from Russia. So I don't know if you can see that decal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the kit right there. It's a, it's a 10 piece kit. And you know, I was very, very impressed on how easy it was for my team to actually put the thing together. I mean, you cannot, it could not get any easier than what it actually was. We literally hung the thing in two days. Uh, big shout out to Mercenary Motorsports for putting this thing together. They did a phenomenal job on the, th on the car. I mean, it looks, you know, it's aftermarket, so it's not going to necessarily be 100%. It's not OEM. So, but what we have is, is what you see, and it's, it's actually beautiful, man. I get so many... I get so many people taking pictures on the freeway. So many people just, see, you know, so to say, break their necks, you know. <laughs> um, and uh, they, they literally just gruel over the car. And then if you can see in the background over there, yeah, there's actually, there's actually number two. <laughs> oh, tell me about that. What's going on back there? Well, let's finish with this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, 
We threw some uh, LD97 wheels on here. This is a 22 by uh, 11.5 up front with a 295-25 tire on there. And then in the rear, we went with the 22 by 13.5. And if you could see how deep that dish is, that's wow. Uh, dude, I, I really like that fitment. Uh, that rear wheel is awesome. That big fat lip on there, that looks awesome. I don't see a whole lot of clearance uh, up inside of there. Do you have any, any trouble with rubbing? No, no, sir. Not at all. Um, we've, uh, we cut about two and a half inches all the way around the car um the fenders and will, will well whatnot we save the inner liner so i still have all that stuff there um and and we literally it it tucks it tucks that wheel so well it's a 335 25 in the rear and that kit just swallows that that tire and wheel up like nothing and on the fender flares i can see the the bolt uh, the bolt holes right there uh, are those for real or are those just for show i mean is it actually grafted onto the car or does it uh... Does, does it actually bolt on? Yeah. So they're all just riveted on. Um, you know, it's funny. <clears throat> funny thing is, is I actually wanted to, um, I actually wanted to go with a seamless look. I didn't, I, at, at first I didn't like the rivets. Right. And um, I had been looking for kits for about maybe a year already. And there's a couple of companies out there. Chrome and Carbon is one of them. That, when I seen that it came out, cause Dodge really wasn't releasing that. It was, I'm going to cut the car. I'm going to wide body this thing. And that's just what I wanted to do, you know? Um, and so looking for them, I'm like, you know what? That might be the one I want. That might be the one I want. Well, the guy even offered it to me at a really discounted rate. And I, and I turned it down. I says, you know what? I don't think that's a kit for me. And uh, it literally, that kit turned out to look like the 2020 charger. So the way I seen it is if I'm going to cut my car, which I know a lot of Dodge fanatics and, Old school Mopar guys are probably going to be like, screw that guy, you know. But nevertheless, you know, I, if I'm going to cut my car, I want to go extreme. I want it to be something that is just far-fetched that anyone can reach right now. And really, realistically, you know, like I'm saying, uh, this kit right here is pretty much the kit I, I love, man. I just, I just loved it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, and then if you want, let me take a, a walk over here to number two for you. <laughs> And um, like I said, uh, Mercenary Motorsports, they put these two together. They um, knocked it out of the park. Uh, we couldn't be more happier with what, what, what was made and, and done. And this is actually my cousin that actually owns this other one. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this one. This is a, this is a Destroyer Gray. And uh, this is the other second Shirakai kit right here. I really like that. This is a um, same wheels, uh, LD97. Put these wheels on here. These are uh, 20s though. So he wanted more of the meteor tire look. He wanted more of the, uh, you know, the more of the tire. He just wanted meat, you know, to, to, to grip the road. So he went with a 20, what is this? 20 by 11.5 front. And then he went with the 20 by 13.5 in the rear with the eight inch flat barrel reverse slip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Again, same thing with that big lip on the back. I really like that look, man. That looks really right on. Yes, yes, I agree. Completely agree. But, yeah, this is the number two right here. So I'll take you a quick uh, run around this one, the Destroyer Gray. This is actually a 2018 Daytona. You know, what's funny is a uh, funny story. is I actually took my cousin for a ride when I first bought my car. Within two months, he went and bought his Daytona. <laughs> you know, we've said for years that these things just sell themselves if you just get an opportunity to enjoy them, right? Clearly, in your cousin's case, that is exactly what happened. They, they, they definitely do. So, I mean, they're just a lot of fun. Anybody who, uh, who, who loves muscle cars, I mean, you just know Dodge is just killing it right now. I mean, you know, they, I, don't know, I don't know who else that has, you know, anything that's going to be coming close to, you know, what, 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 what they have. So, really in love with the cars. I mean, they came out great. I didn't ask for anything more. So, honestly, Rich, I can't thank you enough for spending so much time with us today. Uh, before we get you out of here, if folks want to follow the build and, and see what you've got in store uh, as this thing moves on here, uh, where can they track you down? So, uh, my my uh, Instagram page is uh, at scatpack underscore 
I'm sorry, scat underscore pack underscore rich. It's never ending. I got more goodies coming. I got a bunch of carbon fiber stuff that's going on going on next. So, you know, now it's to do the interior. You know, uh, I think later on down the road, it's going to look, look, look for some engine work as well. So, Man, this thing's impressive just the way it is. I can only imagine uh, what you're going to do with this thing in the, in the near future. All right, listen, buddy, I, I'm going to let you go. I know you got to get back to the shoot. Thanks uh, to the guys for uh, letting us interrupt for a few minutes to, to hang out with you, you know, so early in the morning there. But uh, we certainly do appreciate it. Uh, stoked with your enthusiasm. It's fantastic. But uh, have, uh, have a lot of fun, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. You do the same. Thanks for having me. And that is exactly what we want to do here on the Dodge Garage Download. Give you a chance to meet other owners, take a look at their builds, and uh, maybe it's going to inspire you to, to do some cool stuff with your own Dodge as well. So keep, uh, keep your eyes open here at DodgeGarage.com. We're going to have more episodes, you know, all the time. And if you'd like to throw your two cents worth in, always you're welcome to leave a comment down in the section below the screen here. All right. So that said, I will see you next time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, we'll get together again soon right here for another Dodge Garage download. I'm John Hammer.